Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Astros versus Cardinals Major League Baseball matchup on Monday, June the 3rd, 2024. If you like all the free picks we do at Pick Dogs, you'll love our premium picks, our best bets. Use the discount code PICK, get 15% off. We also have products meant for people who make larger bets with big bank rolls. These products are not available under the premium picks tab. They're also significantly more expensive than those style of picks. But if that's something that fits in your bank roll, looking for a long-term winning strategy, by all means, text that number. But let's get to it. Got the Astros taking on the Cardinals. The Cardinals, like the Phillies, getting no break here, playing in the Sunday night game, then having to play on Monday into an eight-game card. That really doesn't make any sense, but, well, that's how the schedulers do things in Major League Baseball. It's Kyle Gibson on the bump for the cards. It's Justin Verlander on the mound for the Astros. And Verlander, you know, the stopper in this Astros rotation, he's actually pitched pretty well in three of his last four starts. He gave up four runs against the Brewers in a 4-2 loss at home. But outside of that, one run against Seattle, one run against Oakland, and no runs against the Detroit Tigers. You know, he's had certainly his share of bumps and bruises that game against the Yankees where he got rocked for seven runs. But for the most part of it, Verlander, it's been two runs or less, and he checks in with a 3.26 ERA. 38 hits allowed over 47 innings of work, just 17 earned runs, 44 strikeouts, 15 walks, which is probably even a little high for Verlander, and eight home runs, also probably a little high for Verlander. But the thing is, Verlander's known as the second half of the season guy. He has most of his career been that way. Uh, this year has been a little bit different, or in recent years, he's had a few years that have been a little bit different than that. But the bulk of his career, it's been the second half of the season. So I think also the way he's pitching, not a lot to be too concerned about. Kyle Gibson on the bump here for the Cards. He's pitched really well this season as well. Un Gibson like numbers most of the way, allowing one run last time out at Cincinnati, zero against the Orioles in just four innings of work. But, um, you know, two runs here, run there. He's got a couple times where he's gotten busted up. But really, Kyle Gibson has been busted up the bulk of his career. I mean, he's a five. ERA type guy 4.73 last year was one of his better seasons and you know that 2.87 he had in a half a season with Texas was pretty much the outlier of the whole thing but generally it's high fours low fives for uh, for Gibson and that's what we're seeing this season is well better than that 3.60 allowing 54 hits though in 65 innings of work 26 earned runs 52 strikeouts so low um, you know, 25 walks, high side once again, and eight home runs. I got to say that Gibson is probably poised to get hit pretty hard, in you know, like he normally is throughout his career. The Astros are hitting right-handed pitching at 255 over their last 10, 259 for the season, while the Cardinals hitting righties at 251 over their last 10 and 240 for the season. So they're hitting the baseball too, and maybe they get one or two off of Verlander. But I'll tell you what, I think the Astros crush Gibson and the Astros bullpen. 2.33 over their last 10. I'm going to take the Astros here, and that's going to be my free pick. Of course, while you're doing your picks, putting your bets in, use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. 100% free, and they'll help put you on the most favorable bets on the board today.